This is Rebirth of Legend here with another replay analysis. This time we'll be looking at a Razor game. Our hero this time will beat the darkness. Be playing Razor. Oh man. Oh, I do apologize. I am quite tired, and uh, I didn't get to look at the scheme for a while. I did promise to look at it almost a week ago now. Uh, so, generally speaking. Uh, this player's trying to nail down a few heroes he's comfortable with, hoping someone can take a look at his most recent Razor game. He's comfortable with the skill set, blah, 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 blah. Um, cool. Okay. Um, let's see what the skill bracket this game is. It's a normal skill bracket game, so it's somewhere below, like, 2,500 MMR. Legion Commander! <sighs> let's check yeah. it out and see what we can do. As a warning, I am not really a mid player, and by not a mid player, I mean I played mid probably like well i've been playing mid alchemist lately but i don't really even count that because i don't think it requires much of the mid skill set to actually play alchemist mid it's more like playing a one position in a really easy fucking lane it's honestly one of the easiest things i've ever tried but whatever um let's check this out for starting build you have really low base damage this probably isn't good i'm pretty sure you end up going yeah you're definitely going mid so the reason this isn't good is the you want a, a quick stick or maybe a full wand against something like a Zeus. If you think you're against a Bristleback, it's probably good. Someone who's going to spam you out of lane, then you get a lot of charges. So a common start for that might be like um, Tango full wand or something in place of like a Wraith Band. But this here is a very, very low base damage. You can't trust that you're going to get a link off. So you're not going to have good base damage. So you need to um, probably start with a Wraith Band. Uh, if this is really low MMR in higher games, uh, commonly you'll have people pull you a couple of tangos. So usually you'll open a Wraith Band, branch, branch, uh, have two shared tangos, and then you send yourself a salve after you get the um, Bounty Rune. And then you just save for your bottle. This build is really bad for mid lane because you're honestly not going to be getting harassed that much where the ring protection is going to be too useful and the stick is situationally okay like i said if you're against a hero like a zeus who's going to spam then you could start that but you still want some type of stats to give you more damage um so instead of this ring of protection you'd get like a full wand did you buy i think you bought your own ward too because that math doesn't add up that's 400 525 yeah, so you're missing some gold. Oh, so we queue up a bottle. But this is gonna... Oh, the 9 damage you get from like an Aquila, an Aquila, a uh, Wraith Band, is pretty significant. So here you should be focusing on getting a good block right now. I don't know what you're looking at. Okay, you just sit there and let this... Okay, this is something you'll see, like, every good mid player do. You block your creep wave, so you get an advantageous lane equilibrium. Neither of these people block this. So if you were to block this creep wave, ugh. if you were to block this creep wave, okay, so let's, let's slow this down. If you were to block this creep wave and have it meet like here, you'd be able to play up on this sniper and probably drain some of his mana, which would help you out a lot. Because now he's able to trade hits with you because you're pretty short range here, you're 475. He's short range right now, but no, he got level two and now he's got 650 range. Um, so you want to make sure your equilibrium is favorable, and that'll let you get more creeps early on, because then he has to last hit uphill while you don't. So this is another thing I talk about in a lot of, um, uh, this is something I talk about in a lot of the games, is knowing how to control creepy aggro, and I talk about it in terms of the safe lane, um, where it's not used often but situationally it's very strong in the mid lane you need to know how to control creep aggro and you're not doing it at all here i'm just going to send you a guide on it because it's um it's a really really important thing to know how to do in terms of winning your lane
Should be starting to use your tangos now. Let's see how the last hits are looking. Yeah, good last hits into nines though. That's really good. Sniper is like coincidentally you're laning against a hero who also has really bad base damage who rushed a bottle. I'm pretty sure he's not a mid who needs a bottle. Like you spam you can spam this, but it's so cheap. You don't need a bottle to support it. Hey, you're not gonna use this all the time either. It's kinda silly. But yeah, I mean I'm not gonna go into like great detail. On the creepy equilibrium. Because, like, there's not enough I could say right now. And there's, like, better guides can showing how to do it. And I'm kind of too tired to do that right now. And I talk about it all the time. So you can watch any other videos and I'll tell you how to aggro creeps. But it's not complicated. It's something you just have to practice, though, to make sure you get the creep equilibrium actually correct. So like you can you can max this first, but like it's gonna. So as a mid, you wanna control equilibrium, and you this is what's gonna let you nuke down the creep wave and harass your enemy really well. This is what's gonna let you harass the enemy and nuke down your creep wave really well. If you're not leveling this, then you don't actually have harass in lane. You're depending on actually leashing people. You shouldn't mindlessly skill one over the other because you're like, oh, I like this one. I know you said like, oh, I like doing this to mess with people and oh, whatever, they don't expect it. Well, it doesn't matter if they don't expect it if you can't hit the leash. And it also doesn't matter if you surprise them with that if it's like an inferior thing. This is what's gonna let you nuke down the creep wave and secure runes. This is what's gonna let you catch kills as people are retreating. Like, yeah, Static Link can be nice if you can actually get the duration, but you can't guarantee that you're going to get a full duration leash. So it's really, it's not something you should be doing. Like, if, if you're getting someone like a, a Dragonite or other people who have to walk up to the creep wave, yeah, sure, I could, I could see the argument for that, whatever. But it's situational at best. It's not something you should be doing all the time. What the fuck? The hell just happened? Did my world just break? I'm not even in this fucking game. The fuck? Okay, whatever. Someone's messaging me to see if I wanted to like do some in-house that like replace me and then force me to like spectate their game. I don't understand that, but whatever. My apologies for that. Your creeps are pretty low here. I didn't actually watch, but by learning to uh, control lane equilibrium, you're also going to increase the amount of creeps you get. Like, you see, you, like, I don't think I've seen you use Static Link once yet in this game. So, like, what was the point of maxing it? What's the point in getting a bottle if you're not going to use this ability? Like, this doesn't cost a lot of mana. Having a Bassy will work just fine for that. You should be getting boots on a TP right now. Your hero is very strong when you can TP to fights. If you're paying attention, this... Eh, you got the kill anyway. Uh, if you're paying attention, then you could have made that kill easier for him. Obviously, he didn't need much help, but so you could have been—you could have been a bro. You could have handed him your bottle so you can activate the regenerator instead of him having to walk all the way back to base. But like, see, like now the sniper is gone, and you should be pushing this tower, but you can't because you don't have this, so you don't kill the creep wave quickly enough. You also don't have a bassy. Like, you should be getting boots right now. So <laughs> you like maxing this because it surprises people. Is your, your words, but. The way you use this is by being faster than people, and you're not getting boots. Just get boots now? Congrats, you can never get a static link on a sniper. It's a very slow hero, but you're never going to be able to get a link on him. 
Oh, you do have boots. I'm sorry. Wow, I'm I'm an idiot. I don't know how I didn't see that. My apologies. I have my boots in that slot. I must be tired. So you do have boots. My, my apologies. That was, that was silly. But, uh... So yeah, getting the Bassy is good. Getting the full Aquila is really nice. It's a great item. You can't go wrong with it on Agi Heroes. Boots are kind of your preference. You can get Phase or Treads, depending on the game. If they're burst heavy, Treads are probably better. If you're trying to play really aggressive the way you're trying to do it, Phase would probably be alright. the fuck did it? Am I hallucinating? What did I just see? Did he just black hole nothing? Why did he do that? <laughs> this is <laughs> this is beautiful. You run up, you're chilling. This guy just like, hey, let's black hole nothing, and then get sniper rolled at that is fucking prices. Yeah, you can't pay for comedy that good. But yeah, so you should have a TP so you can reactively respond to things right now. So you can try and actively gank if you get a good rune, but like overall just focus on getting your farm. Like what are you doing here? You're gonna die. Okay, so let's look at this. Like what was the point of doing this here? You turn your ult on, push in the tower. You can use this to nuke that down. You get affected by that? Why are we... It's a lich. What's the point? You don't... Okay, first of all, you tank the tower aggro. Once you right-click one of these heroes in the range of the tower, you're going to reset the tower aggro, and it's going to start attacking you. It doesn't matter what else it's doing. It goes, wait, what? Hold on. Someone attacked a hero near me. Let me kill that fucking person. So as soon as you commit to this dive, you just screw yourself. The fuck? I don't mean to do that. You aggro the, aggro the tower. And, like, we know the sniper's here. He has a bottle. He's got some mana. Am I wrong? Okay, he killed the Enigma. So he's going to have his ult here. You can't chase this. He's got tranquil boots. You can observe his speed and see he's faster than you. Like, this is just catastrophically bad. This is stuff you can't be doing as a carry. Play it safe. There's nothing wrong with... If you're a better player, make safer decisions. And you'll do better in the long run. Getting punished for this? For what reason? Okay, you're taking that even... You're taking this tower even before you commit to that dive. It immediately starts attacking you. You don't de-aggro this, so... To de-aggro a tower, what you do is you force attack click one of your creeps, and the tower will reset its aggro to one of the creeps, and it will come off of you. <laughs> so you don't de-aggro this tower at all. It's not even that it aggroed because you attacked someone. You just were getting aggroed by default. Oh man, that screwed. What the fuck? Okay. So this thing's already attacking, and you commit for this dive. What's the point here? You're 100% dead. One, this Lich is fast. Lich is a really high move speed hero. He's 415? It has to be 415. Because this is 90, right? This is 90. He's 415. Even if, even with these broken, he's faster than you. He would be moving at 475 with his boots broken. You have to look at things like this. And even if you don't look at it, you know like he probably at least has boots. And if he has boots, he's probably as fast as you, right? 415 plus 50 would be 465. With boots, with with just brown boots, it's 8 minutes. Lich probably has it. Assuming you don't even click it, you can just think about these things. With brown boots, this Lich is faster than you. You're tanking a tower, and there's a sniper here who just killed your friend. Oh, he threw, he threw a shrapnel, but he has a bottle charge. This bottle charge will give him enough mana to ult you in 4 seconds. So here you're dead, like, no matter what. Like, he gets two lucky headshot procs. And you're dead. That shit is not worthwhile. You can't you can't pull maneuvers like that. Like you need to play safe, get your farm, get your levels, and then like this hero excels in team fights, and then he's good at pushing when you have an Agonims. Because the Ags lets us affect towers, and I'm sure you know. But like in team fights, you can static link, which is like an anti carry ability. You can put it on like the L C when he's dueling someone or before he duels someone. You can run down someone like the Sniper, because you're kind of a fast hero once you get, uh, like, boots or, like, a Yasha or something, or drums, whatever. People like tanking him with drums, it's probably fine on him, because it's move speed stacking. There's a lot of people you can drain damage from. It's like, well, I guess it's not really true. If you can gap close on the Sniper, you can drain from him, you can drain from this guy, you can drain from him. Uh, this guy can outrun you, and the Marana can leap out of your leash. 
But, like, don't kill yourself with trying to be really aggressive. Like, that's something that used to be a thing where the mids have to create space. They have... Is this bugged? No, this is you just looking up here. Like, a long time ago, like two years ago, around TI3, mids were completely responsible for making space. And it's just like, oh, mid didn't gank, and people would actually get annoyed about that. Which was even silly then, kind of. Because, um, particularly now, like, not every mid needs to gank. Like, you should focus around timings. Like, if your team wants to group, if there is a fight, then TP to it. Or preemptively group to, like, try and do a smoke or fight or something. In this game, you're the carry for your team. In this game, you're the carry for your team. No one else on your team is actually a carry. Night Stalker's not really a carry. Enigma's a jungler. I have a clowny friend who plays tree and protector like he's a carry, but he's not a carry. So you need to play like you're the one position, because you basically are out of mid. Like, treat it like you're a shadow fiend who has a safe lane co-op. Which is a common lineup someone like Secret would run. You can get your wand, too. Like, this is another hero where you're, it's totally okay to stat stack on. And you're also going to have extra slots right now, and you really, really need a t Oh, you're getting a TP delivered now. Like, you're going to have extra slots when you get this shit delivered, like, two. Completing your wand is totally fine. I think, I think getting treads is a good decision here, because they have some good burst damage. Getting the nine extra stats from treads would be good. If you want to play really mid-game centric, you could probably get... Um... Drums, they're kind of fast heroes. Like, I wouldn't be opposed to, like, drums. Uh, SNY is also okay, but you probably want, like, a BKB. If you want, like, drums, BKB, Ags, that would probably be pretty good. Because uh, you have a lot of CC out of him. A lot of his ult does a lot of magic damage. These three have really big magic nukes. He's got a good magic nuke. His ult's a huge magic nuke. Like, they have a lot of nukes. And uh, what the drums would let you do, would tank you, Tread's drums would tank you up and let you run at people. Because they're also all really fast heroes. Really fast, really fast, uh, kind of fast, and he's got this, which is going to make you slower. But these two are slow. So that's like two people It's going to be difficult to maintain a leash on without some type of move speed. Um, and I'm, I'm usually opposed to drums. I don't really like the item overall. I don't really like drums generally, but when you're talking about move speed stacking and like situationally, I can I can understand the item as a pickup. But like right now, your farm's not really good. Like at 10 minutes, you should probably aim for like 50, 60 creeps would probably be okay. He's not a hero who really farms the woods too well, so 50 to 60 creeps would be all right. But that's, that's just like understanding how you have to focus on your lane. Like I said, I don't play I don't play mid a lot, but these are pretty like basic concepts where you just have to like kind of look at the game and understand your role in the game. Missing uphill, you can use your Q to get that creep. Now you just gotta deny it though. Nothing wrong with spamming your spells to get a creep, dude. You saw he wants to dive. You have a haste rune. You run that piece of shit down. If your Anos dies here, this is completely your fault. But you're not even looking. Like, you have to be aware of the shit that's going on. He gets the kill, but now he's, like, so deep. You could have helped this guy. So by getting that kill, one, your Night Stalker wouldn't have had to go as deep. And two, you would have drained a bunch of damage with this ability you want to max. And then you would have been able to kill this tower faster. You have a haste rune. You're an exceptionally scary hero with a haste rune because people cannot break your static link. Because you're too fast. Don't be scared to run down that LC and just put your static link on him. I mean, like right now it's not the best idea because that sniper's about to be back up. But do you know where the Shadow Shaman is? He's in bottom lane. The Marana's not that scary and the Lich isn't that scary. <sighs> you lost your opportunity now, but it was, it was totally viable to do before. You got the tree guy there. He can cover you with his little seed bros. Alright, I'm probably going to make this video in two parts. I don't I don't usually do that, but I promised someone I would play. But, like, yeah, it's a general idea. Like, you don't, you don't really have a huge focus here. You don't really have, like, a good focus here on, like, what you want to do. You're not laning correctly, and you still... 
You must have used your TP because I know you. I know you had one. Um. All right. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll finish this up in the part two. But uh, I think this had a lot of good things we could work with, and I'll finish watching us do it probably later tonight before I fall asleep.